Good morning. Blessed be the Lord. I had what I believe was a prophetic dream last night, and so I want to share it with you all. Now keep in mind, uh, I've been psychic for probably since 2013, maybe even long before that and just didn't realize it. But I just recently started to know that I'm a prophet of the Lord and uh, and I've been getting the call not to hide that and to come out of the closet. So here's the dream I had last night. Uh, more like a nightmare. There was a man and he was a father and the father was in his house and he had three male children and three free female children. And the females were the youngest. And he was looking around his house and there was an older man beside him. And all of a sudden there was an explosion Boom. And there were at least two stories to the house. On the second story, the man and his friend were walking. When the house started on fire. And I heard the, the friend say to the man, very good. And you couldn't see, I couldn't see the, the male children, but they were to the, they were to the left of the screen, let's say, if it was a movie. They were to the left, and presumably they burned up in the fire. Then the man's friend disappeared, and the man was there by himself, but his friend was still talking to him. And his friend said something like, you know what to do next, or you know where to go next, or something of that nature. Next, in my, in my dream, it cut to the female children downstairs who had been knocked unconscious onto the floor from the explosion. As the father approached, they were starting to regain consciousness, but hadn't gotten up off the floor yet. The youngest one was curled in a fetal position and just started to open her eyes and say, Daddy, is that you, Daddy? And the father said in a voice that did not seem to be his own, I've only just started to be your daddy, so I'm not sure. But those eyes, I love those eyes. And then he reached down and lifted the little girl's eyelids as she trembled in fear, not knowing what had become of her daddy. And that was the end of the dream, and then I woke up. So here's the interpretation. <sighs> Holy Spirit told me the Father represents our leaders. I said, does it include religious leaders? And he said, no, this is our political leaders. The house, the house is politics in the United States. Politics in the sense of government, right? 
This government is a more accurate term. Our government has suffered a blow. Is this just federal government or is this also local government? Definitely federal government and local governments in key states, he's saying. The friend is most assuredly, most obviously the devil. Who was whispering to our leaders things that aren't good for us. What do the boys represent? Represent okay. I'm getting the homes and the households and the working, the working class. And what do the girls represent? Okay, I'm getting the liberals, the stay at home moms in the suburbs. <clears throat> Those who want to believe our leaders. Are, but can't believe that our leaders would be so evil. So they have to convince themselves that their leaders are, are right. And what is the deal with the eyes? Satan is trying to stare deep into the souls of the women. Satan disguised as our leaders, as our government leaders, authority figures. is trying to scare suburban women and liberal women into obedience to Satan's agenda. These are in states. Okay. Is that what you want me to say? These are in states I'm going to call them out. Michigan, California, Florida, New York, Ohio, Indiana, Texas, Iowa, Nebraska, and maybe Colorado. These are states that have a strong contingent of Republican women, women who believe in the Constitution and freedom and this kind of stuff, but who are blinded by the authority disguise that Satan is taking in the world today. If you're in any of those states, God wants you to know that he loves you and he is putting people out there He's got the prophets working. He's got his evangelists working. He's got those that just love each other who are holding the light, the light workers, the way showers. He's got those working. He's activated everybody on the team of righteousness to help bring those who have been confused and connived <laughs> by the work of Satan and his minions to come back, to come back to the Lord and to help bring a new era of love and peace upon the earth. He is ready to reign for a thousand years. Is the world ready to have him? It starts with the United States as the protector of Israel. Message over. 
All right, I hope this has been uh, helpful. Um, I'm supposed to leave a link to, uh, if you want to help my, my mission. Like I said, I'm new to this Prophet of God stuff. I question a lot of stuff. But I'm learning to just trust God, and that's the message I was shown to give you. And if you'd like to help support my mission, um, like I say, I don't have Patreon or anything like that. So, uh, what do I have? I have PayPal. So you can send PayPal to uh, eheperly.freelance at gmail.com. You can send a donation if you'd like. Uh, if you can't do that, go ahead and share. Like, subscribe, share. Um, I will continue to give you the message. The prophets are activated right now. There's so many good prophets. Kat Kerr, um, Elijah List. I heard Robin and Robin. I don't know their names, but I saw them on uh, the Sid Roth show. Amazing. God is working so powerfully right now. It's, we haven't seen work like this since the days of the New Testament. Believe that. God is making a statement against the devil, and he is calling him out on the field. Anyway, let me go ahead and end that. I'll say love and light and blessings to you and yours. May you awaken to the truth, and may you share the truth fearlessly with others. Amen.